Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Let's have a look at the impossible mission for Memento Mori. And the uh, gimmicks here are uh, gravity barriers and then uh, mines, the uh, stick-on mines. Uh, so flight characters are not going to be uh, as useful here. And then uh, we have um, kind of a very high multiplier on the mines damage. Uh, to the point where, like, you can't really do great damage without mines. And, uh, yeah, you need mines in order to take down some guys. Uh, and then what's happening on this uh, first stage here, uh, the uh, robots in the corners, uh, they will throw out the uh, stick-on mines. And then we see that they are in the uh, counter-attack mode right now. Uh, if they are hit by any attack, uh, they will shoot out a mine uh, towards the nearest um, unit that we got. And uh, yeah, because the mines are going to be uh, the main source of damage for this mission, uh, we want to leave the mine robots out uh, as much as possible. Uh, their attacks aren't too bad, so it's fine to leave them out. And then uh, there's the uh, Gaia there, and then there was the Spritzer before. Uh, those guys are closer to having like regular uh, damage done to them, so we want to get rid of them first. Um, yeah, so here we have the mine robots out, and then the uh, onion heads. And the onion heads, they can only be taken down with mine damage. So we want to get rid of the, uh, the other little guys in order to clear the way. Uh, we want to pick up some mines on our minesweepers, and then hit the onions with mines, take them down in one hit. And then we are left with the mine robots, and then we can take this time to, uh, you know, gather mines for our guys for the next stage, or get hearts, or charge strike shots, or whatever. And that's pretty much the, um, the way that every stage is going to go. And then uh, to talk about the team that I'm using, first I'm using uh, Hendrickson, the Demon uh, Evolution version. Uh, he is a Pierce with no gravity barrier. Uh, he doesn't have a Minesweeper, so we saw the stick on mine get on him and then um, blow him up. <laughs> um, but it's good to have a mix of Minesweepers and non-Minesweepers, uh, because um, the non-Minesweepers, they can kind of act as um, like mine holders until the uh, Minesweepers can come and pick it up off of them and then use it to attack. And then a Hendrickson is also good because he has a strike shot which takes away set damage. Um, so that can do good damage to the boss even if um, even though he is not a uh, Minesweeper. Okay, next stage, uh, same thing as before. Uh, we'll get rid of the uh, Gaias first just to clear the way. Uh, and then we'll uh, gather mines from the mine robots, and then we'll take down the uh, onion heads. And then the onion heads will revive each other every turn, so we need to take them all down in one turn. And then that's where the tricky part comes from uh, in this mission. <laughs> okay, now to continue talking about my team, next I'm using uh, Kain. Uh, the latest uh, fire impossible monster. Uh, he is a pierce with uh, both uh, gravity barrier and minesweeper, so uh, he's perfect for this mission. Uh, he has a uh, star laser bump combo, just like Hendrickson, uh, which is uh, a good bump combo, but not really meant for this mission. Okay, so there with uh, Kain, we uh, hit all three of the onion heads with one mine each, so we are able to take him out down and then uh, we can uh, continue on with the rest of the stage. And then uh, Kain also has a uh, strike shot where uh, he does extra damage to guys with gravity barriers around them. So that also works well for this mission. Okay, third stage. Here we see a, a giant onion head, uh, but the idea is the same. Uh, get rid of the little guys all there at the bottom. We'll get rid of the uh, drones as well. Um, and then we'll gather mines from the mine robot and then use them on the uh, giant onion head there. Okay, uh, next character I'm using is uh, Agnamut X. Uh, she is a bounce with a minesweeper and a null gravity barrier. And then she has minesweeper EL. So she'll get three times the damage uh, from uh, mines that she picks up. Um, so she'll be an excellent source of damage uh, during this mission. Uh, she has a strike shot where she uh, flies around and then tosses up guys into the air. Uh, this does not do great damage on the boss, uh, but against the little guys it could be okay. 
And then uh, she has a Blast Pump combo, which can be good for uh, Ryoma in particular. Uh, his uh, bump combo uh, pretty much fills the screen, so we can set off the uh, counterattacks uh, pretty easily. And then uh, to talk about uh, Ryoma, he is a Pierce with no gravity barrier, and then uh, Wood Slayer. And then uh, he does so uh, he does so much damage just regularly uh, that he can do good damage even without mines. So uh, in a pinch, you can use him to do damage against the boss. And then uh, he's got that bump combo I talked about just now, where it fills the screen, so it's really good for setting off the counterattacks from the mine robots. And then he has a uh, command strike shot, uh, which can be really good to get your minesweepers moving in order to take down guys. Okay, so great damage there from uh, Kynes Mines. <laughs> and then uh, we'll move on to the next stage. Okay, here's the first uh, mini boss. Uh, but again, idea is the same. Uh, we'll get rid of the little guys, pick up mines from the mine robot, and then do damage to the boss. And then uh, there are some drones around uh, Memento Mori. And then these are kind of annoying because they will um, eat up a mine uh, before we can uh, hit the boss. So we do want to take care of those as well, uh, but uh, they will uh, regenerate, so. Uh, we just got to keep the pressure up, basically. Okay, and then with uh, Hendrickson, he had a uh, mine on himself. And then he had a choice to either hit Agnemut X or Kain uh, in order to give the mine. Um, I looked at whose turn was coming up next. It was Kain, so I decided to go with him. And then uh, we did some decent damage there to Memento Mori. Okay, uh, yeah, as much as possible, we don't want to do damage to the mine robots. Uh, we can hit them a few times with uh, normal attacks, and that's okay. Uh, but we do not want to hit them with a mine, because that will take them out for sure. So, uh, we'll be careful about that. Okay, let's give uh, Hendrickson's mine to Kain. And then Kine has a clear shot at uh, the boss. All of the uh, drones are gone. So let's just do a left to right, and then that should be the stage. Uh, almost. <laughs> and then, um, as for the mission overall, uh, it takes a long time. Um, yeah, we see the length of the video, it's about 17 minutes. <laughs> and that, um, I felt that this run was pretty smooth as well. Uh, it's just the way that the mission is designed, it's just really, really long. Um, I do enjoy the mission, actually. I think it's fun to, uh, you know, work on your positioning and then work on your mind, um, you know, raising your minds. Um, but yeah, the mission's really long. And uh, the character is, uh, I think it's a fun character, Memento Mori. Um, she's a Pierce with no warp. Uh, she has a blast type 8-way laser, which is pretty great. And then um, some other uh, abilities. Uh, but yeah, I think for the length that this mission takes, uh, it wouldn't be worth getting more than uh, one of her. Okay, and then one thing I forgot to mention is that the Onion Heads, they do have uh, one-hit KOs. Um, so even if we can't take them all down in one turn, uh, it's still a good idea to take them down every now and then, just to make sure that we don't get hit by that. And then uh, this stage, uh, this stage right before the boss sequence, might be the most difficult um, stage of the mission, uh, because the Onion Heads are pretty far apart. Uh, on different sides of the screen. Um, kind of the ideal positioning for a Pierce character would be to um, would be in one of the uh, lower corners, and then we can do like an upside down V attack, and then just hit each of the onion heads. And then um, when we hit that top onion head, uh, we want to try to aim it so that we only hit it once, so we only use one uh, mine. 
All right, uh, Kine is not in perfect position, but let's see what we do here. Uh, we have four mines, so we can afford to hit one of the onion heads twice and then still get all of them. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what happens here. We'll come up, come down. Okay, that was great. So somehow I managed to hit the left onion head and then the top onion head once uh, each. Um, so then I had two mines left. And then I hit the mine robot, so I had one mine left. And then I hit that bottom onion head, so we were able to get them all in one turn, so. Okay, and then here comes the boss sequence. And uh, yeah, same idea as all of the other stages. So we'll get rid of all the little guys, uh, grab mines from the mine robot, and then um, use the mines to do damage to the boss. And then, uh, like before, the drones will uh, eat up our mines, so we want to get rid of them as well. Um, preferably with our characters without uh, Minesweeper. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, Kine has only one mine, so let's make use of that. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, decent damage to the boss there, uh, considering that there are a lot of uh, targets in the way. And then uh, here, let's look at the damage that uh, Ryoma can do, even though he's not carrying any mines. Alright, so that's decent, that's something. <laughs> that makes him one of the, uh, the better characters uh, for this mission. Okay, pretty decent damage there too. And then uh, Hendrickson does have a critical, so that can also help uh, do damage to the boss here. Uh, you can't count on that, of course, though. Okay, so I could have done an up and down attack just to get rid of the boss, but I also wanted to pick up the heart. Um, so we did kind of a uh, kind of a looping angle there. Okay, second boss stage. And then uh, here, the onion heads are hard to get to because they're on other sides of the boss. Uh, if we have a uh, Pierce character and we have enough mines, we can just you know go left to right and go through the boss and then take them out. Um, I don't have that situation ready though. Um, so we'll uh, wait for the next turn uh, for when the onion heads uh, move down. Okay, so we used Agnemut's uh, strike shot there. Uh, almost no damage to the onion heads. Uh, decent damage on the boss, and then we got rid of the uh, drones. So that was an okay use of that. Okay, Dioma still doing decent damage with his uh, Wood Slayer. And then uh, Hendrickson, not a lot he can do here. Uh, we could use the Strike Shot to do uh, good damage to the boss, but I thought I would save it for the... Um, last stage. So we just hit the mine robot and then we got the mine onto Ryoma. So I think that was fine enough for his turn. Okay, with uh, Kain here, let's take down the onion heads. I hit the left onion twice, uh, but thankfully I had three mines, so I was able to get rid of the one on the right as well. All right, and then we just do damage to the boss. Uh, with Agnemut X, we got a mine into the weak point, so that did very good damage. And then uh, with uh, Ryoma, let's pick up the heart and let's see if we can take down the boss. Okay, excellent. <laughs> all right, last stage. Uh, we got some mines, we got full HP, so we're looking all right. And then I would love to use Hendrickson's strike shot now, uh, but the mine robot is in the way, so we'll move Hendrickson into better position and then hope to use it uh, next round. Okay, with Kine here, 
I'm going to use his strike shot where he uh, damages uh, gravity barrier guys. Um, but it doesn't do as much damage as I was hoping. It might have been a better idea just to do a left and right into Memento Mori. Uh, but I was hoping to use it as a, um, a way to clear the field. Alright, with Agamut X, let's do a uh, slight left angle. Get a little bit of damage on the boss and then take down the Gaia. Okay, and then with uh, Ryoma, let's use his uh, Command Strike Shot. I'm not expecting to do a lot of damage, but maybe we can get rid of the drones and then um, maybe the little guys. Okay, that was decent. Okay, we got rid of the drones and we got rid of the uh, Gaia again. Alright, so that clears the way for Hendrickson. Let's use the Strike Shot. One of the most powerful Strike Shots in the game, I really do think. <laughs> okay, there we go. Alright, and then with Kain, uh, let's see if we can take down the boss with these two mines. Yeah, good damage, but not quite. Alright, when with Agnamut X, let's do the uh, the finishing blow here. Excellent, alright. <laughs> so that was Memento Mori, and a pretty smooth run, I would say, but still. Takes a very, very long time. Uh, I would just get the one of her to use, and then the three, or however many you want. Uh, in order to ascend uh, Magmel and then uh, call it a day. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.